the current job I'm working right now, and I don't bring my own meals from home, I'm paying about five or six pounds for a lunch, and it is literally slop, slop and glue. Chili con carne, which doesn't look like chili con carne. You know when people talk about ultra processed foods, and what they mean by that is food that no longer looks like the source it came from. So if you take some chicken and you ultra process it, like pate, it no longer looks like the original food. That is what I get in the hospital. They say, here's some lamb stew or whatever. It doesn't look like that. It looks like pellets. That kind of stuff is not adequate enough to fuel and feed someone who's working a 12 hour shift and a very stressful 12 hour shift. So I would say I hear this kind of thing all the time from patients. The food is disgusting. It takes away their appetite. They're like, oh, whenever I even smell the food, my appetite goes away. So this is why it's so important for your patients to make sure that you're liberalizing their diet so you're not putting unnecessary restrictions on their diet. Like, for example, if your patient is on a renal diet because they may have kidney disease, but all of their electrolytes are stable, they don't actually need that diet. So the chronic kidney diet can be quite unpalatable. People complain about it a lot. That's, for example, if, if you put someone on that, you can just liberalize them to a regular diet. At least they'll have more choices at meal times. And hospital food is not delicious. I don't think anyone would say that. But at least if you minimize the unnecessary restrictions, you can help your patients have more of an appetite and eat more.